Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel, I hope. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Golden Baccalaureate Jonathan Roan the winner? Is Jonathan Roan the winner of the Golden Baccalaureate? He has become a clear favorite with a deep story and Joan Vassos has a strong connection with him as well. Yet, will he make it to the end or end up being sent home and left heartbroken? Keep reading for more details. Golden Baccalaureate Jonathan Roan the winner? Jonathan Roan is not unlike his fellow bachelors as he has a heart-wrenching story. His wife allegedly told him one morning that she wanted a divorce. This came out of nowhere and it shattered his world. He has been left to be a single father, but it has not been easy to raise his kids and open his heart. This is a similar story to other men on the show who have lost women they love or are scared to love again. Joan Vasos broke down on the Wednesday, October 2nd episode of The Golden Baccalaureate. She was on a solo date with Jonathan when she felt her late husband's presence. Hawks were flying above, and that immediately triggered memories and signs. Eventually, Joan opened up to all of the remaining men about how she was feeling. She may never get over her late husband, and that was okay with them as they also had lingering feelings about their partners. As for Jonathan, fans love him a lot so it would make sense if he were to be the last one standing. Not gonna lie, I have a high-key crush on Jonathan. He's so kind and super handsome. Personally, I would date him in a second. The way Jonathan opened up to Joan was so refreshing and so poignant. You could tell Joan took notice of it in a big way. Unfortunately, Jonathan Roan is not the one who gets the final rose. According to Reality Steve, Joan's final four are Guy Gansert, Chalk Chapel, Pascal Abdi, and Jordan Heller. That means, somewhere along the way, the 61-year-old was eliminated. The final rose. In the end, Joan Vasos supposedly chose Chalk Chapel with Pascal self-eliminating. However, it is unknown when that happened. Again, a lot of these vital details will have to wait for a little more time to pass. Yet Jonathan Roan's elimination could happen at any time, as soon as next week. Joan does seem to really like him so he may stick around for some time, which would be nice. As the final rose ceremony loomed closer on the Golden Baccalaureate, a subtle tension filled the air, electrifying the mansion with the unspoken question, was Jonathan Roan the one? From the moment he stepped out of that limo on the very first night, there was something about Jonathan that captivated Joan Vassos. The other men were charming, no doubt, but Jonathan possessed an air of confidence that didn't come from arrogance, but from a lifetime of experience. His salt and pepper hair, well-groomed beard, and warm, steady days spoke to a man who had seen it all and remained humble. It wasn't just his looks that made him stand out. It was the way he carried himself. Unhurried. Authentic. For Joan, Jonathan seemed like a beacon of stability. As a woman in her sixties, she knew that life wasn't about wild roller coasters of emotion, but about finding someone who could weather the storms with you. With Jonathan, it wasn't a whirlwind. It was a slow burn, something Joan was beginning to cherish. Yet, as the journey progressed, there were doubts. Joan had connected with other men, men who brought out sides of her she hadn't seen in years. Take Peter, for instance, the eternally youthful traveler who filled their conversations with stories of exotic destinations and endless adventure. With him, Joan felt like she was 25 again, spontaneous and free. Then there was Greg, the soft-spoken romantic who, during one of their heart-to-hearts, admitted he hadn't loved anyone as deeply as he loved her since his late wife. Greg was sweet, sensitive, and completely devoted. But Jonathan? Jonathan was something different entirely. He didn't sweep Joan off her feet with grand gestures or declarations of love. Instead, he made her feel grounded, safe. Their one-on-one -on -one date had been simple, a quiet dinner at a vineyard, where they drank wine, laughed about the awkwardness of dating in their sixties, and exchanged stories about their families. Jonathan shared tales of his grown children and grandchildren with a fondness that made Joan's heart swell. He listened intently when she spoke about her late husband, 
never once making her feel like she had to apologize for her past. I want to be someone who walks alongside you, Jonathan had said that night, his voice low and steady, not replace what you've lost, but be there as you create something new. Those words had stayed with Joan for weeks. In the whirlwind of competition, roses, and dramatic exits, Jonathan had been the one constant, always waiting in the background with that reassuring smile. He wasn't the flashiest choice, but there was something profound in his steadiness. As the final three men gathered for the last leg of this journey, Joan was overwhelmed with conflicting emotions. Peter represented adventure, Greg promised undine affection, but Jonathan. Jonathan felt like home. And as Joan stood there, the final rose trembling in her hand, she wondered if that was what she truly needed. When it came time for the final dates, Jonathan surprised her. For the first time in weeks, he showed a vulnerability Joan hadn't expected. They were sitting on a bench overlooking a serene lake when he turned to her, his eyes clouded with uncertainty. I need to tell you something, he began, his voice slightly wavering. I know I've been calm, maybe too calm, but the truth is, I'm terrified. I've spent so many years being the rock for everyone else, my family, my friends, that I've forgotten how to let someone in. But with you, Joan, I don't want to be just your rock. I want to be the man who learns how to lean on you, too. The admission caught Joan off guard. This was a side of Jonathan she hadn't seen. The man beneath the armor. The man who wasn't just strong but also vulnerable. In that moment, she realized something. Jonathan had been holding back not because he didn't feel deeply for her, but because he was protecting his own heart. He had lived a life where he had to be the steady one, the reliable one, and letting someone into that space was far scarier for him than any grand romantic gesture. The night before the final rose ceremony, Joan lay awake, her mind spinning with thoughts of what her future could look like with each of the men. Peter, with his promises of adventure, stirred excitement in her, but there was an uncertainty that made her hesitate. Greg's devotion was flattering, but there was a part of her that feared being placed on a pedestal she couldn't live up to. And then there was Jonathan. Jonathan, who had shown her that love in your golden years didn't have to be fireworks and dramatic confessions. It could be something as simple as sitting in silence, knowing you're understood without a word needing to be spoken. The final rose ceremony was a blur of emotions. Joan stood before the three men, her heart pounding as she prepared to make the biggest decision of her life. One by one, she bid farewell to Peter and Greg, tears streaming down her face as she hugged them goodbye. Both men had brought so much into her life, but she knew, deep down, that they weren't the ones. As Jonathan stood before her, Joan took a deep breath. He looked at her, his eyes filled with hope, fear, and something else, something she hadn't seen before. It was love, but not the kind of love that demanded attention or validation. It was quiet, deep, and unshakable. I choose you, Joan whispered, her voice trembling. Not because you promised me the world, but because you showed me what it means to feel truly seen. Jonathan smiled, a tear slipping down his cheek as he pulled her into his arms. I've waited my whole life for this, he whispered back, for someone like you. And in that moment, Joan knew she had made the right choice. Jonathan wasn't just her winner, he was her forever.